We have come rejoicing into the house of the Lord for this celebration, my dear brothers and sisters. And now we stand with Gil and Millie on the day they intend to form a home of their own. We humbly will pray to God the Father through Christ our Lord for this couple, his servants, that he lovingly accept them, bless them, and make them always one. Billy, my sweet unicorn. I know we met at Joe Chicago, which is where we work together, and I never imagined that our friendship would grow into what it has. Little did I know that we soon would have to share you with a handsome anesthesiologist, just so you guys know it's Gil. And I will never forget how excited you were after that first date. It was very evident that you found something special and real and that this one was here to stay. It became really, really apparent to me from the very get-go that this was a little different situation. Uh, Gil knew from the very beginning what he had stumbled upon. You know it when you see it. Um, you know, it, it, it all came together as it should have. Dear sweetheart, we made it. We're here. It's finally our turn, our day. We're at last being offered the chance to truly and wholly commit to one another for the rest of our lives. I cannot wait to finally stand in front of God and recite my vows to be undoubtedly yours. And as I sit here, trying to put words to the flood of emotions that fill me when I think of what you mean to me, I can't help but wonder how I got so lucky. You are quite simply the best thing that has ever happened to me. I never imagined that it would be possible for me to arrive at the most important decision of my life and for it to be such an incredibly easy choice. Millie, my love, we finally made it. To get to this day felt like an eternity. However, I never doubted we would get here. No matter what this world tried to throw at us, to have persevered and to be reading these letters today is a testament to our love for each other. I will never forget the evening we met. To say it was life-changing is not only accurate, but not nearly enough. I knew I had just met someone who could change my life in the best of ways, and I remember almost immediately dreaming of a life where I'm lucky enough to marry you. I found a partner with whom I feel connected in ways I never thought imaginable. A partner I respect and admire more than anyone I know. A partner that is willing to grow with and for me as much as I am for him. I have grown to love you so much because of everything you've been through and the man you've managed to become, I'll be it all. And I am so proud to truly be able to call you my husband in just a little while. I love you today and always. I'll meet you at the altar. I'll be the one in white. Your love. is difficult but it's the most important thing in the life of a person you are a family now you are and you are just 
a family. It's you and Millie, Millie and you. And that is great. It's your responsibility. You have the push and the right heads, do everything right so that you're going to do it. And I'm proud of that. So Gil, I'm very grateful that you entered my friend's life. You are the perfect human for this unicorn, but you are not her unicorn, I will always be. And to the two of you, I'm so happy for you and I wish you a lifetime of happiness together. Cheers, my friends. Love you. There are no two better people that are, are suited to fight through the adversity. You've done that to get us to the point that we're at today. I, I hope that uh, in the end, this day, this weekend was everything that you hoped it would be. So take your love out tonight while you eat, while you dance, while you talk, and when you drink. And if you cannot do it, drink more. Cheers to you guys. Thank you, Milagros, to be my wife. I, Milagros, take you, Charles, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. And I'm the first to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Bowen. I wrote to you in the beginning, and I'll tell you again. If my life were to end tomorrow, I would be completely at peace with the blink in the universe that was my life, because at least I'd known I had found you. You are the window to my soul, and being your wife will be my life's greatest success. Having you by my side has made me a better person in nearly every way. I simply could not ask for a better partner to admire, to love, and to cherish. My love, I have never been more confident with anything in my life than I am to be marrying you. Millie, today I open my heart and soul to you entirely. You are my purpose from this day forward. You are the very best part of me, and I will care for you and protect you above all else. You are my greatest adventure. Te amo mi amorcito. Bill.